Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Hamid Reza Bolhassani and welcome to the episode 20 of the Mobile Networks Overview course. In the previous episodes, we talked about EPS, Evolve Packet System, and the uh, uh, network elements of Evolve Packet Core, uh, such as MME, uh, SGW, or S Gateway, P Gateway, uh, PCRF, and uh, so on. Uh, we talked a little about uh, some uh, famous protocols like what? Like GTP. Let me like GTP and uh, diameter and their protocol stacks. Um, but now we want uh, we want to go to, through the first. Uh, a scenario of uh, of the LTE network, which is attach, attach like uh, like the location update or IMSI attach in the CS scenario. It's uh, for the it's when the subscriber it happens when the subscriber went to register in the P, in the EP, EPS went to register in the data network of 4G or wants to register in the EPC Evolve Packet Core. Uh, in other words, he want to get uh, the 4G service. But one point, maybe, uh, for example, some uh, some operators, maybe uh, other uh, generations also connected to uh, to this EPC. For example, we have some uh, mobile network operators that also uh, that uh, use EPC not just for 4G, also uh, the PS of uh, the PS packet switch of 2G, 3G, 4G, and also in the uh, non-standalone uh, architecture 5G, they uh, connect this together. Okay, uh, so attach uh, and this scenario is not only uh, for 4G, but as you can see here, uh, this uh, this signaling follow shows that E node B is here. So uh, for uh, for this specific case, it is related to the 4G LT. Okay, so let's go ahead. Here we see the user equipment. Uh, and if you remember, in the previous uh, generations, uh, we mm, we use the MS mobile subscribers in in uh, in the terminology for previous generations. But here we have a user equipment. It sends attach request to the new MME. Why new MME? Because maybe he was in the old MME and now he want to attach in the new MME. Okay. Then the new MME uh, may want some information uh, as some information from the old MME. For example, IMSI or IMI or some other information. And uh, he will uh, and this if uh, this old MME has this information it will send back this information to this new MME and then here uh, if not maybe we need uh, another step identity request response it is uh, it is for uh, for example if some inform some required information is not available here such as IMSI or IME or IME then the new MME will ask to provide will ask this information directly from the user equipment via uh, S1 AP on the sub layer that we talked to each uh, to to you in the previous sessions on the NAS non access stratum as you remember between UE and core we have IP CTP and NA, uh, and here S1 AP and in S1 AP we have a layer NAS NAS is used to uh, negotiate and uh, transmit information and transfer information between UE and EPC. Uh, this uh, information will send through NAS. Uh, such uh, like this uh, uh, protocol we had in CS between mobile and core network, the DTAP. Okay. 
then here if the uh, here we have we will uh, the um, MME will ask some information and the UE will send through NAS and then security we have security function here it means uh, this this security function here means authentication because we didn't uh, the, the subscriber didn't uh, update the location yet so before uh, this it will do the authentication request and authentication response uh, an authentication challenge will send from HSS uh, to the subscriber and if the subscriber can solve this challenge uh, okay this is a uh, this is an authorized and legal subscriber and can continue to update location um, update location requests uh, maybe in the next couple of episodes uh, I will talk a little about uh, security functions and authentication procedure in 4G LTE network because as I remember I have uh, did explain for you the authentication procedure in uh, 2G and 3G 2G in the many slides before in the many episodes before so here if the authentication was success uh, and the new ME will send an update location request to the HSS and he will ask the HSS to update the location of this subscriber and if uh, if the um, address of the old MME is uh, registered in the HSS HSS will send the cancel location to the old MME and the old MME will send its acknowledgement so after the cancel location from the old MME uh, the answer of this message 5 of the location request will uh, will send from HSS to the new MME update location acknowledgement in this in this step the M the new MME the MME uh, will ask the S gateway or serving gateway to create uh, a new session for this subscriber so uh, based on GTP based on GTP um, a com um, message, a signaling message will send from MME to serving gateway create a session request and accordingly the S gateway or SGW send create session request to the PGW and PGW according to the uh, related IP pool to the uh, appropriate IP pool okay uh, sends the IP tunnel information sent back in answer in create session response and accordingly serving gateway also uh, send this information and add, add some other uh, information and send back to the MAP. In this step everything is ready for setting up a, a radio uh, for setting up the session so in this uh, in this step the new MME will uh, will instruct the radio with the information of uh, tunnel IP or uh, IP port or some other uh, information about the session and uh, RRC connection between UE and this uh, this uh, step is the RRC configuration radio reconfiguration between UE and uh, inode B the radio access port and here we have initial context setup response direct transfer and in this step here we have attach access so this scenario will, uh, will start from here uh, for example point one and uh, will point start for example and here point end uh, so if you are uh, for example uh, let me complete this and, and after that I will say, I will give you a point and here the inode B will send attach complete to the new MME and after that if needed a modified bearer request will send to the SGW uh, for changing if possible if needed uh, some information about the tunnel and here the mm, task of CP control plane is done and UP user plane and service will start here this is a direct tunnel this is a direct tunnel and uh, in this within this direct tunnel there are 
there can be many sessions okay uh, so uh, for example if you uh, in the future if you want to uh, work with some kpi kqi for example maybe someone uh, asks you uh, what is the attached attach success rate in percentage so you can see the number of attach accept here attach accept here you will uh, you will divide this uh, number of attach accept to this attach request and it will uh, give you the and uh, uh, multiply by 100 this will give you attach success rate in percent okay and this is the detach procedure we can see that it's very simple uh, the UE user equipment will send a detached request to this MME. MME will send a delete session request. In the previous um, generations, for example, in 2G, 3G, we have the PDP context terminology. Uh, uh, but here we have bearer. Uh, in 4G, we have the terminology of bearer. And each in each bearer, for example, this is a bearer. In each bearer, we can have multiple sessions. Please remember this uh, literature, okay? And then uh, uh, he will answer this MME delete session response. But uh, after that, it also as serving gateway also sends a delete session re request command to the P gateway, and he will answer. And right now, this attach will accept is accepted, and the signaling connection will be released here. Okay, uh, it was a uh, an introductory and an overview on uh, two basic scenarios in the LTE uh, network. In the next episode, I will go through the details in the in a, in a, real uh, scenario in wire sh uh, under wireshark in pcap format and we will go step by step through the details to the message details uh, thanks for watching this video and hope to see you again in the next video bye